Hey guys, so today I am going to do a nail tutorial for you. Um, this is what the final product looks like and I'm going to show you how to get that. So first we're going to take um, this Essie Nail Polish in Lapis of Luxury. It's a nice periwinkle color. You can take whatever color you want, but I just like this color. So we're going to put the first coat on and you definitely want to build it up to an opaque um, color because the first coat won't be, it's just sheer. So we'll let that dry and then we will put our second coat on. Now we will be taking this white nail art pen and just on your nails you're going to make a, like a pyramid shape, not in any, like you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. And that's why I kind of like this tutorial because it's easy to do with both hands, especially like, I don't know if you're challenged like me, I'm not very ambidextrous. So yeah, we're just going to put like a pyramid shape or a triangle shape, just little strokes. And once you get the outline done, you could fill the middle in. And it's nice to use a nail art pen because it's much easier because it has a very fine tip. Now we're just going to let the white dry and we will be taking our other nail art pen which is in Caribbean Coral. I found these nail art pens at a local beauty supply shop. I'm going to take that and make a smaller triangle in the middle of this white one. Again, in no shape or form, doesn't matter what it looks like really. It's how you feel you want it to look. We'll let that dry and then we'll take lastly our black nail art pen. Now this you definitely want to do short little strokes um, just kind of, you know, in a staircase kind of effect, somewhat like that. Um, so yeah, so you do that on both sides. And you definitely want to make sure they kind of like stick up a little bit. So it looks kind of like, I don't know, fringy, I guess. And again, you don't want to put too much nail polish on your pen at first. Um, and then we'll put a little black in the middle of the... Caribbean coral. Um, and lastly, we'll let this dry for a minute or so. And um, I'm going to take my favorite top coat, which is Sesh Vite, and put that on top so there will be no chipping. And again, this is what the final product looks like. I hope you guys enjoyed.